The next question is an audio picture match question. Here, you ask your students to listen to an audio fragment and they have to connect it with the right image. My students have to connect the sound of an animal with the right animal. I'm going to click on add to add my pairs. It's important to add your pairs correctly. So book widgets knows that that's the correct answer. Book widgets will automatically randomize all the pairs for your students. We're going to give an audio description because this is used for the reporting. When students submit their answers to you, you won't be able to listen to the recording, but you will be able to see the audio description. Click here to select audio fragment. You can choose a file from your computer, import one from Google Drive, or immediately record one um, in Book Widgets. The file will be loaded into Book Widgets. Now you just have to select the image so they can connect the right audio fragment. I'm looking for an image online. The online tool is connected with the Pixabay image library so you can easily find some images that are free for you to use. When you're done, click here to go back and you'll see an overview of all the pairs you added to book widgets. Of course, you can also add distractors. So add a pair with the left or, rest or right side empty. In that case, you can only add audio or only add an image. And this will show up on the right side with all the images as well. There are some extra options. Take a look at all the options. Of course, you can see all these options in all the other question types in book widgets. Make sure to take a look at the scoring options and change the scoring weight if needed. It's a score multiplier. So for every pair your students have right, they will get one point. Click on preview to see how this looks like for your students. Students will have to click here to hear the audio fragment and then they have to connect the images. If these images are too small for your students, they can always click on the image and start zoom, zooming in or they can also zoom out. They click here. <laughs> So this might be a little bit harder for your students because I added as well as a tiger as a lion. So some might say this is a lion, but of course my lion was the distractor image I added to this question. When you want to see how this is automatically graded, click on show answers. Of course, you can enable students to just submit their work and return the work with the correction and the grades later on. The green lines are the answers that your students have correct. The red one is a mistake and the dotted line is a correction of the mistake.